perfect wave, the dream of every surfer. But did you know that waves can also generate electricity? Yair Rudik is also looking for the perfect waves, not as a surfer, but as a director of business development for the Swedish-Israeli startup EcoWave Power. We're a wave energy developer, and we've uh, developed the proprietary technology for the extraction of, uh, of wave energy, so we produce 100% clean electricity from ocean and sea waves. The idea is not new. Already in 1890, the first patents on wave energy were granted. After a short hype phase during the oil crisis in the 70s, the interest in the production of wave energy has increased strongly again in the last few years. So wave energy is a new form of uh, renewable energy that has not been commercialized yet. So it's before that a lot of the wave energy field, you know, they saw the huge theoretical wave energy potential, which is located offshore. I mean, according to estimates, we can actually produce twice the potential electricity the world produces today from our oceans and seas. Um, the thing is, none of these systems were really cost effective. They weren't reliable and they were also had a negative environmental impact. Offshore wave farms pose a threat to many marine life, partly due to the risk of marine mammals and fish being struck by tidal turbine blades or the effects of electromagnetic fields and underwater noise emitted from operating marine energy devices. Besides that, wave farms can result in the displacement of commercial fishermen from productive fishing grounds, can change the pattern of beach sand nourishment, and may represent hazards to safe navigation. The startup EcoWave Power avoids many of these problems by building its plants not offshore, but on the coast. So in contrast to the majority of the wave energy field, um, who actually develop their systems offshore. Our system is actually located near the shore. The majority of our system, about 90% of the cost, is actually based on land, just like a regular power station. And we utilize very unique uh, floater shapes, which we install on pre-existing marine structures, things like break piers, breakwaters, and jetties. Um, and actually the floaters sit on the external side of these structures, and we're able to use the motion of the floaters with the waves to create the clean electricity. Um, and by using existing infrastructure, our system is actually quite competitive with in both solar and wind. Um, and in a lot of locations around the world, we can actually generate, have higher capacity factors than both of those systems, you know, because we're able to actually generate at night, we can, you know, very wavy locations, we can generate almost around the clock. So it is, it is quite competitive. And, you know, uh, right now, actually, our company is operating the only grid connected wave energy array in the world. And we hope to be, you know, expanding and scaling up our technology worldwide soon. As a comparison, the power density of photovoltaic panels is one kilowatt per meter squared at peak solar installation, and the power density of the wind is one kilowatt per meter squared at 12 meters per second. Whereas, the average annual power density of the waves at, for example, San Francisco coast is 25 kilowatts per meter squared. The search for the perfect wave could take on a whole new meaning thanks to startups like EcoWave Power.